on the eve of the release, I I tried. I tried my best. I picked up my next film script, uh, uh, War Two, and uh, I went through that. I got deeply engaged in that. Right. I have to act so that I can, you know, get a sense of making a film. <laughs> Acting comes in my way. I have studied my face, right? I've I've spent years before Kahuna Pyare came out. For ten years, I was studying my face because this is my product. I think it's always so nice to see you. Congratulations always on nice Fighter. Always nice to see you too. Thank you. What are these last few days? What have they been like? What's happening? How are you processing the varied feedback? Yeah, I think uh, life often comes uh, to a standstill when the film is on uh, the eve of uh, release on the first few days, because you're at the mercy of uh, of uh, the box office, the mercy of uh, the reviews. And I've often, uh, you know, uh, fantasized about uh, like disconnecting completely, and uh, because there's nothing more you can do after yeah. the film releases, um, I have uh, toyed with the idea. I'm so fascinated by it that if I could have that strength, you mean just, just leave? What do you mean disconnect? Just disconnect and uh, you know, not uh, uh, not be in a state of of uh, you know that that deep. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Concern, vacuum. You know, you're 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 hunting. You're hunting for. You know, what's the number? What's what's the review? What are the people saying? All of that, because it is going to come to you. You know, the big picture is going to land. You know, at some point. So there is no real need of going through that. The whole uh, you know sleepless nights and you know let's do this, let's do that, and uh, oh he said this, she said that. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, the shows jumped up. Great. Oh, the shows are not didn't jump up. Oh, so the, yeah. you don't need it's a to, roller coaster. You don't need to go through the roller coaster. Yeah. You know you. Yeah. But um, yeah, that is still a skill that I need to build, and I will. I will. Uh, so I did. Uh, I uh, on the eve of the release, I I tried. I tried my best. I I uh, picked up my next film script, uh, uh, War Two, and uh, I went through that. I got deeply engaged in that. And the next day, I met Ayan. Uh, you know, we sat and all of that, but I couldn't completely disconnect because <laughs> there's a loyalty, you know, that uh, you know that that you have to. Uh, there's a commitment. So if uh, if fighter needs me, you know, I gotta be there till the end, uh, and then that's what happens. So, uh, anyways, yeah. So you were sucked back into it. I was sucked back into it, and then <laughs> sucked back hard. But but I think you had once told me that. Once you see the full film, you have a pretty good sense of where it's going to land in terms of box office, and you're yeah. fairly good with, like, you're fairly accurate. Like, yeah. that's usually what happens. W were you able to do that with this film? I am very good with that. Really? Yeah. That's kind of scary, <laughs> no? Well, which is why I always, uh, you know, I I find my peace so easily. I'm I'm so lucky. I'm so fortunate that uh, you know when a when a film does really well. I'm at peace. If when it does not do well, I'm at peace because I've already um, kind of calibrated how much I felt when I saw the first copy to uh, you know the the box office uh, result, and that's always been a match. So, and yet you go through the roller coaster. And yet you go through the roller coaster, which is why I'm saying you don't need to. You know, the the the, the big picture is is going to is land. There? Yes. Uh, but it's addictive. It's, it is it's addictive. addictive, and it's know, part of the high, right? Yeah, that exa that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it is the high that you're looking for. You know, it's it's like it's like a drug, uh, but also in 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 some way it is it is it is a different entity. You know, you, you also have a a, a, a nurturing uh, emotion towards it. It's your movie. You know, you've given your best to it. So if it needs you a bit more, you've got to be there for it. So. Yeah, so there's a there's a dichotomy there, which, but the truly, I really believe that the best thing to do is is to just uh, you know uh, let it fly on its own, you know. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. you know, you talked about the box office, and 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 more and more, that's become such a spectator sport, right? Mm -hmm. uh, because everyone's watching, and everyone's now deciding that okay, this was good, this wasn't good, mm -hmm. uh, this much isn't enough. Now, of course, every conversation is. Eight hundred crores and a thousand mm. crores, and mm. that's all on the hero. 
mostly. Mm. A, a large part yeah. of it is on the hero. So is it, you know, you've done this for longer than 20 years now. Is it harder to be who you are today? Um, well, there are two ways to see it. One is that, uh, you know, I, I would really, uh, I would fly as an actor if I didn't have the burden of being a star. That's one. Uh, but I think that time will come. Uh, so I'll wait for that. Uh, right now, I am, uh, you know, been uh, uh, given this responsibility. You know, it's, it's a gift. Stardom is a gift. It's a responsibility. It's, uh, it makes you feel the pressure. And um, that's what, you know, fills, uh, fills your tank. That's, it's, a, it's a fuel and it's to be used. And uh, I'm all up for using it well, you know. Uh, use it well. You know, it's adrenaline. It's, it's, uh, it's pressure. It's, it's a lot of pressure. Because, I mean, uh, there have been many times where, where I have an, been un, unable to do something in a film uh, because of the sheer awareness that I have to uphold uh, the star factor in this film. So I can't go that way, you know. Uh, I, I have to keep there upholding. There are Lakshman Rekhas, right? Yes. Ab- that you absolutely. cannot cross. Yes, you can't. You can't. You, also, you have to look a certain way. If, if, if that has been uh, one of the ingredients that uh, people uh, have incorporated into the mold of you as a star, then you have to uphold that as well. So you have to look a certain way, which is one of the most distracting things for me as an actor, you know, because uh, uh, I'd rather spend all of that time getting deeper into my emotion than, uh, you know, fixing myself uh, on the exterior. But of course, I'm an actor. That's my, it, it is a part of my job. Fine with it. But as I said, I, I do, I do uh, you know, I do look forward to the time when, the pressure and the burden of the star is not there and the actor just flies. <laughs> I have been able to do that, you know, uh, in, in some of my films. Yeah. But uh, in films like Fighter and films like War, you know, there's no escaping that. Yeah, there absolutely. There's no escape. Absolutely. There's no escaping that. So, futile to complain. Absolutely. No, <laughs> yeah. and, and I'm, I'm going to come to that. But first, mm. I want to talk about two scenes in the film, right? Uh, the first is when, when Patty's come to Hyderabad as an instructor and, and then he needs to help the new pilot who's on her first solo flight, yeah. whose name is the same as his dead fiance. Yeah. He yeah. needs to help her land that plane. Yeah. Now, it, that's a scene that I believe that you were very keen on, including in the script. Why mm. was that? Um, so, it, it, it was always there in the script and uh, it was... Uh, it was a reminder uh, of of uh, of Patty's uh, uh, love, uh, the love that he lost. It was an important scene. I was very very uh, uh, concerned that you know the special effects of this scene <laughs> needs to work really really well because uh, I know everyone's focusing on the jets and all of that. That has to look good, but this little scene, you know, it's 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 NJ. Uh, it's a it's a reminder uh, of Patty's uh, vacuum in his heart, and it's uh, him, you know, feeling a little simmer of, you know, feeling a little vindicated, uh, you know, once uh, he helps her land safely. It's a, it's a very gentle, very very gentle scene, um, and I'm happy with the way it turned out. Uh, but is there a, a particular reason you asked me about well, this? Scene? It's, it's because. Because there are many other scenes that, no, that have been are. even more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I'm going to come to my favorite. But this scene, so it struck me as something that was very interesting in, in terms of you had not also, of course, because her name is the same, right? Yeah. So then the yeah. emotional stakes just go through the mm. roof. But uh, I wondered, I'm like, okay, what are we learning about him that we didn't know? Was the idea to make him more vulnerable or to find a semblance of healing? In that scene? Well, I, I just, uh, I love when uh, characters are, are uh, you know, they are not wanting to be vulnerable, but then something hits you and you just, the mask just comes off. Uh, I love those moments, uh, which is why 
uh, you know, Patty being this arrogant uh, pilot uh, was, was, was very interesting uh, to me. And I, I wish we could have, uh, you know, uh, deepened those layers a little bit more and have the arrogance, uh, you know, right in your face. Because then when it breaks, when the vulnerability comes out, it's, it's uh, the mystery of that, uh, you know, the discovery of that uh, becomes very, very enjoyable. And uh, the character starts to take shape of a human being that, that you would actually be able to relate to. Um, so, yeah, um, Patty was actually not an easy character at all for me. Why? Uh, at all. It's, it's one of the most uh, difficult roles I have done. Um, because, uh, and I keep saying this, and maybe this time it'll stick. Uh, characters like, uh, you know, like Super 30, for instance, or uh, Kabir, or, um, you know, uh, Patty, is, Patty is not as evolved. Patty is not, uh, he's spontaneous, he's instinctive. He doesn't respond, he reacts. He's not thinking everything through. He's not thinking everything through. Yeah. And uh, so it was like kind of, uh, you know, the, the human in me felt a little demoted. Okay, I have to play it that young, <laughs> Sid man. Yeah, let me do it like this, let me do it like that. But he was, you know, I, that's what I uh, respect about uh, Sid, that he knows, he knows his, the shape of his characters. Mm -hmm. You know, he will uh, go to any lengths to uh, help you, you know, feel the flight. Uh, but then he has, he has his markers. Uh, and so I had to shift gears. I, I literally had to shift gears and say, okay, um, I'm so used to these larger than life emotional arcs of a character. That actually is the driving force of the film. And uh, which is why we took a long time, uh, you know, in, into come, uh, getting this film started. Because I was, I was, um, I was trying to find that uh, that that comfort zone that I usually uh, have with my characters, uh, because the emotional uh, depth and the arc is is larger than life. And uh, then I, I came to the term I, I came to terms with it because you know it's like it's like I'm almost being selfish all the time. I you know I I want that arc. I want that arc. Let me just be the actor and give the director. Just you know, be a. You sub submit it. Let me submit. Let yeah. let me do what I did in uh, Z and MD. Yeah. You know, uh, where where I'm just I'm just there. I'm a, I'm a color in the painting. You know, and I have enough humility uh, to uh, to see that as a positive. So then I so then I I just I surrendered uh, to Patty and then. And then, of course, Sid has, Sid has uh, you know, when you're doing Sid's films, sometimes you really have to be a good actor, you know. So in, in this film, I have actually uh, acted. Uh, I, I've had to be a good actor. But you are a good actor. What does <laughs> no, that mean? Let me try and explain. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't think I'm a good actor. I, I... Uh, I'm, I'm very, my, my, my process makes things very easy for me to, uh, you know, embody the character and then just be. I know that's also a form of... So I mean, you're that's saying you acting. work hard to make it look easy? I work hard to make it uh, look easy. Okay. And then comes along, uh, you know, a scene or two um, where, you know, when you, when you read it, you're like, dude, I can't do this. I just, I just can't. It's not me. For instance, you know, going up to uh, uh, going up to a, a a table with two with two ladies and and using a device like like please, the please? to get uh, to to, uh, to 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 get your way and and that becoming like a kind of an emoji like please wali smile. I said, oh my God, that is so not me as an actor and as a human. It's so far away from me. This is the time to actually. You know, do what I say I do. I, I'm an actor. Okay, fine. Let me, let me get into this and let me try and interpret it in a way that I can make it look like it's, like it's me. Yeah. You know, and it was not easy. Mm, but I think now when I see it, I think I manage. Uh, and then, of course, to use it in a very emotional scene. Yeah. yeah. You know, very emotional scene where, where Patty is, uh, you know, he's, he's, 
he's empty completely and he's asking his friend to trust him one more time you know? that's my favorite scene oh yeah that's my favorite as well really yeah, yeah i thought when he's asking sachi to trust him absolutely. one more time and the the you know just your eyes look so wounded you were right. so good in that thank you tell thank me you. about the 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 beats of that how did you get that yeah and that that ends with uh, the please wali smile as well you know he says please in the end and to me on paper it just felt like dude when i'm so emotional and i'm so like you know being so honest will i is is it a little manipulative to like use that please wali smile because like sh like she will give in because if i use that device and i was so in the, uh, at loggerheads you know inside me i said is this is this right is this uh and then and then i had to find the child you know uh find the find the child that that uh, it's like a child like quality when 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 you have nothing else to resort to you know you're so uh hits you know rock bottom that you're even trying that so i i saw it like that then yeah that he has to he's gone so low that he needs he's he's hoping that if he says please it'll work in the way that she loves yeah. that it will work yeah. so i i then had to see like that and then it worked so there was a lot of uh uh you know uh uh negotiation that was going on uh, within me about you know how to play this so yeah it's uh it was a uh, it was not easy It, it was not easy. You know, you you talked about the kind of pressure on you to look a certain way in films like this, mm. right? Um, and the thing is, with with fighter, because it's also taking from real life things which are very serious. You have to have a certain level of gravitas. Mm. Uh, it's emotional. There is there is stuff which is tragic. It's 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 tough, right? But there's also then, I mean, part of the allure of these films is the slow motion walk. Uh, yeah. with the planes in the backdrop and yeah. against the sunset and and you know just looking really hot mm. uh, how do you balance between being serious and sexy yeah that's a that's a that's a good very good question actually because uh um i have to first of all believe that it is not the shape of my nose or the shape of my eyes or the shape of my jawline i have to really believe that uh it's the expression that i am donning at that time you know it is it is uh, um it is the it is the sequence and the dance of your expressions this is what i i need to believe first that is going to make you look attractive and that is going to eventually uh you know lead to people saying oh my god that looked hot um because if i start believing that it's hot just because of you know the the way the shape of the face is uh which by the way is 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 completely crap it it never works for that it's it's never really about the looks especially you for max so there's science behind the sexiness absolutely absolutely in uh, in in war when kabir comes off the chopper I uh, had sat down and uh, built an entire backstory of where he's coming from. Really? Yeah, there were three pages of of just, you know, what is going to drive him to have that look in the eye that I want him to have. So it's I'm not working from the exterior, uh, you know, in. I'm working from the insides to the outside. So I need to have enough information in my head and in my cells. about who this guy is and where he's coming from and what is where is his arrogance coming from you know where where is that strength coming from what has he just been through uh that uh, that warrants that expression you know uh so so that's what i believe you know and uh, maybe it's just a belief system so that i protect uh pr protect uh, uh my the reality of my characters because uh otherwise i would uh, be so attached to it that i i take it for granted and i don't think then it would work uh so i i i try and and, and find the story behind it behind even looking hot be, i think it's it only comes with a story with a story <laughs> you know it's it's a story in your eyes yeah. the life that you lived that that uh, 
that makes you attractive. And I don't think we live in a day uh, uh, or age uh, where you would just uh, like somebody because of the way they looked. You know, it's, it's something that you recognize in their eyes. It's something that they're saying or the, the tonality of their voice. And uh, it's, it's the aura. It's, there's, there's, there's a lot going on there that, that makes somebody attractive. Um, you know, yeah. But, but Rithik, to be fair, like, the, the, so if it's a film like, of course, if it's Guzarish or Super 30, then it's a different thing, right? Well, I got, you know, an equal amount of uh, compliments for the way I looked in all these films. <laughs> I'm to, sure you to did. To be honest, yeah. <laughs> Um, but but here's what I'm asking, right? <laughs> you're you're in this movie, and and uh, um, I don't know if you saw the Hindu review of uh, Fighter, but it started with um, Fighter is something like Fighter is a film about loving your country, but that's secondary. First, it's a film about loving Rithik Roshan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> and, that's sweet. and it goes on to talk about how they use your face, and of course, the camera is moving over mm. your body. So, I I know what he's saying, and uh, okay, let's let's talk about the skill part. Hmm. So I, I have studied my face, right? I've, I've spent years before Kahuna Pyare came out. For 10 years, I was studying my face because this is my product. You know, uh, you could call it uh, vanity or whatever, you know. But I think it's, it's also an actor's responsibility if he wants to, if he is wanting to be recognized in that category of, of actors, you know, who can uh, back films like this, then you have to know your face, you have to know your light, you have to know what makes your face look the way you want sure. it to look. So I know how to light my face. I know how to light my eyes. Uh, I have spent years and years perfecting it. Um, so there is all of that skill which comes into play in a film like Fighter. Uh, which is also hard work, you know. I trust me. I don't think anybody uh, uh, wakes up as their as the best version of themselves. Sure. Nobody. Yeah. None of us. Yeah. You know, and it's very important to recognize that, and because uh, because then you know, you're you know it'll just go go to your head. You can't start thinking that that's who you are. Yeah. I know the kind of, and which is why I'm open to talking about it. That uh, this is all, it's a house of cards, you know. It really is a house of cards. The angle of the camera, uh, the light that's falling in my eye. Sometimes I, 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 I give the best shot as an actor and then we are realize that, uh, oh, you know, the light didn't, didn't do what I, I thought it was doing. And I, I make a request to, you know, relight the face so that I can give my best again. Yeah. And, you know, it is, it is a burden. It is a... <laughs> I don't, I don't want to do it again. I've just given my, my best to the shot. My, my heart you know, came out in my lines. I'm so much at peace. And then I got to like fix my face. Oh my God. Imagine how, 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 um, how irritating that is. But I, I have to do it. I, 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 I have to do it because it is a part of my work. It is a part of the uh, fees that I'm taking for this film because that's what they're expecting. So I'm very aware of the responsibility. And trust me, it is skill. It is all skill. But let me ask you this, right? As because I think that you're an actor who's very, um, who's very hands-on with the films. It's not you're you're never just going and doing a job. Yeah. It's not your life is yeah. in it. Right? I have to act so that I can, you know, get a sense of making a film. <laughs> acting comes in my way. Right. What I really enjoy is before the acting, you know, uh, sitting on the script and all of that. Yeah. And then after the acting gets over. Because then I turn in the, into the assistant and then I'm, you know, I'm enjoying the process of put, packaging the film. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the post-production. Acting pretty comes in the way, man. <laughs> it's like, you know, to well, be yeah. able to do all of that, I, I have to, I have to act. <laughs> Tell me this, Rithik. Because you're, a, in a sense, a co-architect, right, of yeah. your movies, where do you draw the line on your own objectification? Right? So it's okay for the camera to move like this while you're in the shower and we see all the six pack abs mm. and then you walk out and you're lit a certain way. Mm. How much is too much? Um, as long as, so I have a very, very objective uh, view about myself. Um, uh, I also have a perspective of, uh, you know, knowing 
all the uh, I, I know all my fault lines <laughs> so I'm quick to catch something that is not really wor working um, in a in a film like fighter it's it was important to have uh, a physique uh, it's Sid Anand's film I mean you know of course. you can't get away with it's uh, what we go for right yeah. <laughs> um, so like uh, if you take fighter for instance uh, my introduction uh, I'm in the shower and there are I think uh, three shots of mine uh, now uh, you know first there's there's my hands and my hair and there's my uh, left hand and then the abs and then it goes uh, it uh, goes to a close-up of mine. Um, so initially, there were like twelve shots. No. Yeah. And then? And then I just knew this is not not going to work. So then that that's when uh, you know the the collaborator in me uh, sits with my director and says, I don't think it works if it's you know twelve twelve shots. I think we should have three, and uh, that that should be good enough. So um, yeah, I'm very aware that I, you know, it should it should not uh, can't overdo that. Yeah, you know, it has to serve the narrative. Yeah, it has to serve yeah. the narrative, and it's it's best when it becomes a part of a scene. Mm -hmm. When it becomes a part of the scene, like uh, I think the best, uh, you know, uh, body shot that I've enjoyed in my life was actually in Bang Bang. You know, because it's a it's a part of the scene. He gives her something to drink. He distracts her by removing a shirt, and she looks at the body, and you know, and she drinks it up, and she drinks up the whole thing because it's it's something to to knock her out. So it was incorporated within the scene, and I, so I had like no holes barred there. Yeah. You know, you know I I could do whatever uh, uh, the director wanted there. Mm. Uh, but when it's uh, when it's just. I mean, if you, if you see the number of films I've done and the number of times I have gone, uh, you know, bare chested, you'll, you'll be shocked. It's very few. Very, very few. I have, uh, I have been bare chested. I, I, I can count uh, uh, the films in my, on, on my fingers. Uh, there was a bare chested shot in uh, Krish, uh, Bang Bang, the Fighter. Um, what else? Does anyone remember? Uh, I uh, shot in Krish, in uh, Krish three. Doom That's anything? four. I wasn't bare chested in Doom, uh, except when I, I think when I came out of the the scuba. So you can count Doom as well. Yeah, five. Agnipat? Nope. No. Nothing bare chested. Uh, not war. I didn't go bare chested in war. Yeah. So five films. That's in twenty years, twenty in, plus. In twenty years, yeah, yeah. yeah. twenty plus years, yeah. five films where I've actually. Been been uh, so been there. Do you push body. back with it? Do you find like directors take it as a prop? Like let's all, use his beauty all the time, all the time. <laughs> Dance and uh, going bare chested. These right. are the two things I push back on all the time. Because so, so, sometimes the the dance is uh, you know mm, uh, illogical. Yeah, it just uh, it's there because you are so good. Yeah, but then you gotta you know work harder to see how to make this character dance, man. Yeah. You know, not just Rithik Roshan, but just the, the character. What would make him dance? There's got to be something that makes everyone dance. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So. So you find gotta, the yeah, key. You've got to find that. Yeah. 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 Go back to what you were saying earlier. This, this joy you have in after acting and before acting. Hmm. And, and obviously, I guess it comes from your roots as an AD, right? Because that's yeah, where yeah, you yeah. began. I, I shift roles so easily. You know, from the actor to the assistant, actor, assistant, actor, assistant. I I I shift between those two roles very very easily, and um, and you're very hands on. I'm extremely hands on because I'm always learning. You know, I want to be a fly on the wall. If I if I if if that's all that you can allow me to be, I'd love to be just a fly on the wall to understand how you know uh, films are being made. Uh, but yeah, sometimes you have a collaborator like Sid, uh, and uh, many in my life that that uh, that uh, you know uh, t truly enjoy the collaboration. You know, truly enjoy and want to know what what you're feeling and uh, are constantly you know uh, questioning themselves, que questioning me, and uh, and searching for our answers. And that becomes a very enjoyable process. But Rithik, as you've 
I mean, you were a superstar after the first film, right? But as you've grown and grown and grown in stature, is it tough to be a collaborator because what you say has so much weight? So this is, in fact, something that I have been uh, uh, thinking about, the opposite perspective. <laughs> Uh, because I'm, I'm not assertive. I am extremely passionate. I will go to any lengths to convince uh, the person I'm collaborating with, uh, to inspire, uh, you know, uh, to, sh to, to show him the vision of what I am thinking. Um, but I, am, I, have, I have a line that I do not cross. I will never, ever in my life power down and say, this is it and that's it. Never. There's no ultimatums. There is absolutely no ultimatums. I'm very, very conscious of that uh, because I, I know the power that I have. Mm -hmm. And if I start asserting that, it's going to ruin uh, the, the camaraderie, the, the, the relationship. The fabric, no? The, the fabric of it yeah. will, 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 you know, will get completely disrupted. Uh, so I am very, very careful never ever to use power uh, when I'm in a room uh, brainstorming with collaborators. Uh, so I either am able to convince or they are able to convince me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm not convinced and I take that as my failure. I take that, that, I take that as my failure that I wasn't clear enough or didn't have enough information uh, to be able to inspire and, and pass my vision on to them. And sometimes uh, I give in. I give in and uh, it's a weight that I bear then after, after that. But that's life. Yeah. That's, that's but fine. on a film like this, where, which is so massive in terms of just the ambition of it, right? Yeah. Uh, in the post, were you like, you're there for editing, sound, DI, all of it? Yeah. There, is, uh, there are a few things that I have learned in my experience as a producer when I'm making my films uh, that I real realize now has been, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's something that, uh, it's like gold, you know, and I, I bring forward hacks because I have learned the machine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so I know there are things you can do on uh, these uh, on these machines that uh, sometimes even um, you know the the technician uh, kind of like says, "Nay, ye VFX me ho jayega," but I you can actually do it on the DI machine. Um, really? Yeah. So I I'm uh, because I've been a student and because I've been learning, um, I I think I I'm able to contribute. Uh, a lot, uh, you know, in, in that process. Uh, but that, that's, of course, you know, I'm, I'm the assistant and, and I'm, I'm there at, uh, you know, the beck and call of the director uh, if, if he needs something. And uh, I really enjoy that process, you know, because I, I did that for six years with, with my dad. Yeah. And then uh, in all the films uh, uh, that we produced, uh, slowly I saw my dad kind of like saying, hmm, you, you do it. So it kind of like uh, I, that, that it got very empowered in me. Yeah. And uh, I really enjoy it also. So I think, you know, it's, it's uh, till now, it's always been a positive. But is it all leading that. to some place where you become the director? Um, so, yeah, I've, I've been contemplating that. And uh, I really don't know. I don't know that, you know, I have seen directors who, you know, don't know even like uh, the lensing. Absolutely. They, they just leave it to the DOP. They don't know what lenses, how it's going to look like and stuff like that. But there's something that's empowered in them mm -hmm. where they are confident enough to say, I'm going to make this film. I'm, I'm going to direct this film. Uh, and they just. Uh, they just go forth. Something inside me still needs to get empowered. You know, that little part, I don't even know what that is. Uh, but uh, I'm hoping it does. Uh, so I'm you want does, to direct, I'm, but you're not 100% sure. I don't even have an answer to that. I, I don't have a, you know, pat yeah. answer to that. Mm. There, there is, 
is, is something that is in the way of me even contemplating that. Uh, is it some kind of fear? Is it some kind of, uh, you know, uh, inability? It's, it's maybe how I'm seeing myself. Do I think I can't, but I know I can? There's a, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's two sides to me that uh, are but constantly fighting. someday it fighting. might click into place. It might, it might. I'm actually hoping it does because, I mean, why not? Yeah. 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 Why not? If, I'm, if, I'm, if I love cinema that much, uh, why not, uh, you know, uh, go to the extreme of it and, and find out, yeah. you know, what is the cinema that, that I would want to make, you know, what, what how, how boring would my film be or how, how engaging would it be? Yeah, I'd, I'd, what I'd would love the to Rithik Roshan movie be? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to find out, you know, it's like when I was making my, my first home. Uh, I think it's it's that same process, you yeah. know, where where you know to uh, be confident enough to say, yeah, I like this floor, I like uh, the, these curtains with this floor. No, I don't like this carpet. To take those decisions, you really have to be in touch with your instincts, yeah. you know, because you never really know if that floor is good or, or, <laughs> or right. bad. That's right. You know, s someone else will come in and say, no, this floor is great because if you add this carpet and this curtain, mm -hmm. and you look, wow, that yeah. looks amazing. Mm -hmm. But you got to go with, with what you have, you know, what your instincts are showing and saying at that point of time. And you just have to believe it, you know. And, and uh, so I went through that process when I was ma making my house and I was very aware how, how, you know, unsupported it feels to just be, sub, uh, you know, to be just supported by, by your instincts and your feelings. And you have to, you know, uh, you have to uh, rely on just that. Uh, I think that's what is uh, what a director yeah. uh, needs to have. It's making you know? hundreds of decisions every day, and uh, none of them are right or wrong. You just uh, have to go by your instincts. Yeah, yeah. You know, and finally, if everything is your instinct, it will it will form some kind of a a sequence, and it 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 will it will form a picture, yeah. a completed picture. So really, really important to trust your instincts. Yeah, and yeah. Well, I'll, I'll look someday. forward to it. <laughs> Hopefully someday. <laughs> but Rithik, I also want to talk about what didn't work for me in this film. Yeah, right? sure. I, I, I want to talk. I, I mean, I found the writing um, not as, as sort of effortless as war was, uh, uh, you know, in, in the sense of the playfulness, in the sense of, of the fun that, was, that mm. was in that film. Also, the tonality was much more high decibel, you know, because... Your Kabir is a soldier, right? When you walk out of that helicopter, we see him against the flag, uh, oh. which tells us who this man is in, mm. you know, half a second. Uh, but here, Pakistan seems to be run by a terrorist and the army top brass have zero will. Why? Mm. Well, I would like to believe that uh, my fans and my audience come to watch my films are, uh, are a bit more evolved. And uh, they would not need lines uh, like this. Um, so that's a weight that I bear because uh, uh, as, as an actor, as I said, I don't cross any lines. Um, at the same time, I, I admire that, uh, you know, Sid is a very, very headstrong filmmaker. So this was his has, conviction? It's his conviction, yes. And sometimes you see somebody that convinced and and, uh, you know, it kind of like breaks your heart to like, you know, power down and say no, <laughs> uh, which I don't do. Mm. Uh, but, uh, of course, I also bear, I also bear uh, the weight of that uh, because finally it's my face. Yeah. Uh, but I'm very, very happy that it's landed as uh, entertainment and uh, nothing more than that. I'm really, really <laughs> relieved. <laughs> about that. Uh, having said that, I still, I still bear the weight. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, Sid said in uh, an interview with Deadline, and I found this very interesting, that uh, um, stars should choose film as stars, uh, which is why Tom Cruise is now sort of mm. the last great living legendary star whose films are still continuing, mm. you know, to just rack up the box office numbers. Mm. Um, 
they should choose film stars and not as actors because tom cruise chooses a mm. film as tom cruise and not because he wants to win an oscar mm. now you are both a star and an actor how do you choose your film yeah well so it sounds like as if sid is talking directly to me <laughs> <laughs> this was for you huh um mm. uh, well but it, it's it's great if that's your mission if your mission is uh you know stardom if your mission is stardom and your mission is running that business and you have that shop that you've opened and people are liking then you just keep selling what they like you know you alter your your demeanor and uh, and your products according to what they are liking and what they are not that is that's also okay um i don't enjoy that i feel suffocated i feel very suffocated i uh i think it just comes down to why you're doing what you're doing you know why are you doing movies you know what are you what are you getting out of it is it for money then go ahead man there are no rules uh and 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 you and go, no judgment no judgment yeah. you go out your your you're uh, you're earning the bread for yourself and your family you go out and you sell yourself you do what it takes i respect that i i admire that uh but once that is need is satisfied you know it's like that it's the it's the hierarchy uh maslow's once you know you have first you need food and then shelter clothing you know where does it stop once you've got the yacht you know Are you? Are you still? You still want more of that? I need the private jet. <laughs> yeah, it's it's got to stop. You know, yeah. you have to know how much do you want? What kind of life do you want to live? And what's the cost of living that life? Mm. You go out there and you work for that. Beyond that, what's the purpose? You know. So um, I had a. I had. I don't think I had a point where I said, "Okay, now I'm going to stop and." I think I all always had that uh, that desire in me, uh, you know, to just to just find depth. You know, if you're not finding depth, so what are you even doing? You know, it, it, it's just uh, sometimes very very difficult. You know, and now I'm uh, I'm constantly trying to like find find my depth in. because i know you know my next few films there's it's fighter then there's war and then there's uh, krish uh four and i'm constantly only trying to see if i can if the actor in me can be satisfied and uh it's a it's a it's a struggle and uh but maybe if i don't and i can't I'll, you know quickly do a film that satisfies that urge in me <laughs> Uh, choose as an actor alone yeah just yeah? just as an actor that's such a that's such a luxury yeah that's an incredible luxury but i am i am certain that you can find that depth in any film sure you know you I can i mean tom cruise is not depth. making fluff he's making yeah, i mean you yeah, know yeah, it's, yeah, it's, you can it's find wonderful stuff just yeah. need like minded minds who are willing to go the distance hmm. you know willing to go the distance and and uh, looking at the spectacle as the decoration yeah you know if if the director the producer is looking at the, the spectacle as your mainstay then it's very hard to to collaborate with them for depth because mm. you know they don't they don't feel the desire they don't feel the need for it you know ko ye to hai helicopter hai ye stunt hai wo wo stunt hai and uh, i'm so so uh, you know uh, sure in my so certain in my head that all of that is finally only decoration it's only decoration and uh, so yeah struggle good luck to me man <laughs> need to f- find that depth in everything <laughs> sometimes it's a it's a big struggle <laughs> listen i'm super excited about war 2 i think yeah, you and too. ntr junior in a frame is just yeah inherently so exciting the fingers crossed is there anything you can tell us about it um no but just the uh, i think just the fact that uh, we are about to begin we are almost there and uh, yeah goes on flaws very very soon a bit too soon huh. 
So there's no break I don't get for a you? breather. I don't get a breather. Not at all. <laughs> no. But I'm there, you know there's there's enough that's uh, filled me up and encouraged me. I've I've uh, I've got enough of a pat on my back for for fighter. I think that's I uh, I think that is uh, you know that is something that uh, is is uh, something that I have a lot of gratitude for and uh, I'm good to go man. I'm I'm good to go. Let's 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 go war. <laughs> <laughs> Got the encouragement that I I needed. <laughs> well, just before we started rolling, you were talking about how you celebrated uh, and did some bad things. You know, what what are bad things for you? It's a long answer. Okay, I'm here. Um, so in this film, I actually had to transform my like do three transformations because I did one just to check whether I can I still have the ability before the film started. <laughs> Uh, so I did that and then uh, did the second one for the shoot uh, while the film was uh, on floor and when the time came there was a weather issue in some place that we were going and they had to cancel the shoot and then I had my summer uh, break where I went with my uh, boys um, and then of course you know you have pizzas and you know the fries and stuff and then I came back I had to do another transformation the third transformation in a row, like up, down, up, down, up, down. How long do these take? Uh, every transformation takes about, um, actually takes about 10 weeks. And the last one I had to do in uh, six to eight weeks. Wow. So it was incredibly difficult. Incredibly difficult. And I had to shoot two songs, sorry, three songs back to back while I was doing transformations, which means there's no fuel. Uh, you know, I'm... I'm running on just like steam uh, and uh, I have to uh, recover enough so that because when there's no fuel, there's, there's the, your recovery becomes slower because you're in a deficit. Yeah. So the body do doesn't have enough uh, fuel to help you rejuvenate uh, faster. And I'm dancing every day for 12 hours and it was terrible. Anyways, uh, the answer that uh, um, I was coming to was... So when the day came and my body shot got done, got over, I was so happy and so relieved. But, you know, nothing was filling me up. You know, having gajar ka halwa, having ice cream. And I was like, you know, there's... So I had not planned for the, for the reward. I'd only planned to be in this fight or flight mode and, you know, get this done. I said, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I picked up a cigarette. I picked up a cigarette and I, I started smoking, you know, I, I went into the other deep end huh. and, uh, and that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lesson and a, 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 like a learning by itself because my God, in one week, in one week, uh, I track all my, uh, you know, my data yeah. when, I, when I sleep at night. My resting heart rate is, uh, is 45. Uh, when I started smoking, my resting heart rate went up to 75. Wow. So it's that bad for you, you know. Uh, and I so wanted to make a post about this. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and to just tell people that, hey, guys, you have no idea how bad this is for you. Because, uh, you know, your life can be measured with the number of heartbeats that, that, uh, that, you, that you get in your life. Yeah. Uh, which is why when uh, ath ath athletes say that I have a lower resting heart rate, it's a healthy sign. Why? Because yeah. your heart is working less yeah. to, to, pump be, out. to be able to allow you to do the things that yeah. you're doing. Yeah. So if your resting heart rate goes from 45 to say 90, you're going to live half the life that you would actually get to live. So it's literally, literally cutting, cutting your life. Cutting your life. Yeah, yeah, so that's yeah. the calculation. Yeah. And, so, uh, and so finally I stopped. And, but I, but I recorded all the data and I took pictures and stuff that, you know, someday I'll share it. I'm share, I'm share, I'm sharing it now. Yeah. I, I can send you the, the, the data if you want to, you know, put it up on your, really? on interview. Really? Please yeah. do. My Just God. like before, after, it's insane. Wow. It's insane. And in, in a week? You know, in a week. So I smoked for about two weeks. Yeah. And, and then I, and then, you know, then I quit. Uh, but it was a disaster. A disaster. My point being, you know, we only plan and schedule and brainstorm about the building, mm -hmm. uh, you know, about but what happens after the victory. Yeah. 
you know that also needs it needs a plan the post peak yeah the post peak and yeah. how do you settle do you have meditation in place what is it that you go to what are your rewards yeah. what fills you up it's so important to know that you know and that's what i that was a learning i said my god i didn't plan for this and that's why i was i was searching i was you know i was at a loss and which is why i think uh, pe- people take to uh, you know uh, drugs and uh, other such uh, evils uh, because you know they they want to have fun they've just maybe had a victory and mm-hmm. and you don't know how <laughs> you know and you just take what's what's available right but to really search inside like hey what fills me up what would really reward me yeah. that's a that's a search and a learning by itself so i'm i'm uh, you're you know, on it i'm very very glad that that happened so now i know what to do <laughs> and and you still don't know what the reward is but i'm still searching i'm still searching uh, but i have an idea now i have an idea yeah anything you can tell us oh my god it's uh, i really don't uh, have a short short answer huh. um but one of the answers is you know not get so crazy while you are going towards yeah. that victory that needs to be balanced first in you moderation know. yeah no, because everything. yeah because the pendulum if it's Correct. so far on that end it is going to swing the other end you will have no choice you will try as much to stop it but gravity so yeah you have to have that balanced first so that's what where i am at right now need to balance that first get my life in order you know don't have to go so crazy all the time mm. also uh, you know yeah i don't think the body shot is just again just a decoration you know it's uh, it's it, it's one of the skills i bring as an actor mm. uh, it's not me i i'm not attached to it you know uh, so i'm okay with or without it <laughs> but rithik can balance which you say you want to find in life and great art coexist do you not need to be thoda sa like on the edge to create something that's amazing yeah 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 hai na yeah 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 you have to balance thoda to pagalpan hona chahiye na yeah 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 you can't without it because but you know the pagalpan once you identify that this is my pagalpan hmm then you have to objectively look at that pagalpan and and give it a road map right you know that's possible correct so you're not uh, you're not dismissing the pagalpan you're hmm. not like saying are yaar this is bad no pagalpan is good you're the steering madness, it yeah you need a uh, you need to navigate it once you have many experiences you need to start putting your rules down that okay th- you know i i can cut something here i can add something here you have to build that uh, blueprint hmm. so that the pagalpan can exist and uh, you know be pumped up even more yeah I think and that's possible. Your art. Yeah, that's yeah. possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, good, good luck Thank with you. all of this. Good <laughs> luck with with War Two. Yeah, and you. you know, before I end, I have to say this to you. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of Fighter, right? right. And you had told me once that um, we've known each other a very long time. Yeah. And you had told me <laughs> once that my relationships are not dependent on people liking or not liking my films. Right. But that's a very tough thing to do, and you do it with such grace. So thank you. You're very welcome. Mm-hmm. And let me say that it is really not tough at all. Really? Absolutely. I, uh, you know, it's like I I tell my uh, uh, I tell my children that my love language is authenticity. If you can bring authenticity to the table, mm-hmm. and say, you know, I could have spent two hours in the kitchen making their omelet. and uh, they could you know eat it not like it and then please me and lie and say dad really really good dad but didn't like it that's not my love language my love language is if you tell me the dad it's not that great you know the omelet that vicky uncle makes is amazing i would not in a, in a second i would make a call to vicky uncle and say hey man my kids really love your omelet So uh can I know uh what is it that you put that's my love language you know if my if people can be authentic to me and I can be authentic back to them ah that's bliss for me well, it's rare rithik yeah i it should not be it should not I be i know but it is so thank you you're welcome again <laughs> thank you for encouraging it thank you yeah. thank you